Hi! Welcome back to my channel! Not forget to like, comment and subscribe before you go! With her small face, tall physique and cute smile, Sun Shen got my attention when she was playing He Won Z in Meteor Garden Remake in 2018. But I liked her more in the drama, Take My Brother Away. Let's get to know him more in this video. He was born on April 18, 1997 in Harbin, China. No wonder she's also a popular model with her height of 172 centimeters. She graduated from Central Academy of Drama in Beijing, China. She studied ballet for several years in a high school associated with Beijing Dance Academy. In 2016, Sun Chen officially entered the showbiz circle for his debut in the movie Three Good Students. In 2017, she starred in the youth campus idol drama Take My Brother Away quickly adapted from the Ghost Sisters of the same name, Woman. She took part in the Urban Youth inspirational drama right here waiting for you and also participated in the premiere of the youth romantic idol drama in 2018, Meteor Garden adapted from Kamiya Leaf's comic Spoiler of Flowers. She made her big screen debut in the film Love the Way You Are in 2019, and has recently starred in the drama title Sweet Tai Chi, 2019, Dr. Q, 2020 and Way Back Into Love, 2020. I really liked her in the drama, Take Away My Brother. It is a very touching and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It is also quite funny and the show integrates the comedy and drama well. I love how this show focuses on family and Shi Fen and Shi Miao's relationship rather than romance. The reason I think it is so sweet, because although Shi Fen and Shi Miao don't always get along they still care about each other. There are parts when I felt like Shi Miao doesn't truly understand how much her brother Shi Fen, played by Joseph Zhang. He really cares for her. For me those moments are some of the best in the show because of the way they so deeply touch me. Would I recommend? Of course. Overall, the series is really exceptional in the cast, especially Joseph Zong, managed to recreate the upbeat, yet dramatic, teenage life. She also acted in Meteor Garden 2018 remake as He Yuan Z, a rich strong world girl who liked Dao Ming Si. Simply speaking, she's a girl version of Dao Ming Si. For me, she looked like Barbie Shu, Sean Shai in the 2001 version, but Sun is taller in height. She was really feisty here and equally attractive when paired up with Dylan Wang. Her other drama, Sweet Tai Chi with Bai Wen Jun, is a short, sweet and exciting series. The series is one that focuses on Tai Chi, and those who are descendants of the clans along with their rivals. The series starts out somewhat upbeat and seems to maintain its consistency throughout. It revolves around the martial arts community. The series starts out somewhat upbeat and seems to maintain its consistency throughout. Our two main leads are a female who has been taught a martial arts outside of a particular clan and the male lead who appears to be a descendant of the clan. Without revealing too much about the series I would say that a form of a relationship develops and they both begin to grow. The community dynamic is subtle. There are some bonds, betrayal, secrets and twists. Overall it was worth it to watch. Although the series has been categorized as youth slash school, the martial arts piece is superb. If you're looking for a martial arts series to watch I would recommend this. It doesn't go in depth in terms of showing teaching concepts but you get to see some cool things. Though the male lead is good looking, he seemed to be very rigid and showed fewer emotions in most scenes. Overall, I couldn't give this drama a high rating because I have seen better idol dramas in terms of storyline and acting. Good thing! Sun was very capable with her acting chops and honestly she made me finish the series. I have also watched Dr. Q with Wang Junji as her co-star. The story sticks to a simple romantic story, it has two endearing main leads and a few supporting characters. Sun excels as Qian Zai, she makes her role better than the script. She's bright and sunny despite having lived through extraordinary difficulties. She excels both at portraying her sadness slash trauma as well as the sunny, silly resilient parts. Wow.
Huang Junji as Ji Hing is a great match as a lonely, precocious young man who took on responsibility too early. Together they had a ton of chemistry, good at ease moments between the two. The music was fine and went with the mood of the show. There were cute moments to rewatch and I was 100% addicted. The pacing is good and I like how straightforward the issues in the story were attacked. I love the dynamics between the brothers. I would likely not rewatch this drama, particularly because the acting is so incredibly cheesy compared to having so many other better quality dramas available to steal my attention. But I don't think it was overall bad either, just remind yourself how Huang Junji looks in those historical costumes. There were definitely moments that had my chest tight with anxiety slash sadness for the characters and there were some seriously beautiful fangirl worthy moments. Her most recent drama that I have watched is, The Way Back Into Love, with Dottie Tang. If you need a show where you just shut your mind off, it's a quick watch, really fluffy and sweet and filled with positivity, this is a show for you. First it seems like it's going to be your average unrequited office romance relationship, but it's really not like that at all. This drama offers the promise of an attractive and enjoyable experience. The writer was able to balance all the main elements i.e., comedy, romance, work-life and childishness in each character of the drama. I have watched both the main leads mostly as support roles and I'd say they are perfectly fit for the role. Though many of the viewers or reviewers have a complaint about the less personal scenes, the interaction between main leads, but I'd say if the writer would have focused on fitting more scenes then the story would have become a bit boring. And I'd like to add that the ending was pretty good and personally I didn't find the show draggy at all. Overall, it was so fast and easy and it didn't even feel like I struggled to watch it or anything. I liked Sun Shin in this drama. It was good to see her portray different emotions, cutesy in the high school scenes but a different cutesy when they matured, serious, mad, sad. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe before you go. Thank you.